insert generic flashbang live joke here. And now how about an original one? Did you know this live only comes in light mode? Just like my Patreon, which you can find in the description. Now that that's over, welcome to my live guide. Here I'm going to do my best to translate all of the crazy amounts of text into a very simple video. First I will very briefly explain a few key things about Live, and then I will move straight on to practical demonstration, where you can see exactly how she should be played. The first thing I'm going to recommend is that you immediately get Liv to SS rank as soon as possible. This is because of her skill that she obtains at SS rank. This will help you out greatly and make Liv much more playable than she is to start with. With that in consideration, I'll be continuing my guide assuming that you have an SS rank Liv. To start things off, Liv Imperia has some really cool new features. The first one is Matrix Mode. This will activate her core passive straight away, and you can just continue using your orbs and spamming attack. To activate her core passive normally, you'll double tap dodge. In this time, you want to as quickly as possible spam two sets of orbs, and the more orbs you ping, the more damage. So if I do two three pings, it's going to do a lot more damage than if I do two single pings. So like this. You'll also notice that depending on which one you use, if you use two orbs of the same color versus two orbs that are two separate colors, you will have two different effects. My recommendation would be using two separate colored orbs as you get the suck effect which sucks all enemies in from the area. Just like so. Here's a quick little hack for you. If you do ping two separate orbs, like I said, for her core passive, it gives you a little bit of damage. You can actually dodge this damage and then enter core passive a second time, assuming you have double S live. Moving on from Liv's core passive, her ultimate is basically a glorified version of her core passive. So all you need to do is start her ultimate. Once you start her ultimate, you'll get a few orbs and you'll want to use her core passive straight away by again double tapping dodge. So it should look like this. During Liv's ultimate, you'll want to ping three sets of orbs, so a total of nine orbs for the best result after you've double tapped dodge and entered into her core passive state. Make sure to do this as quick as possible so her ultimate doesn't end. Her ultimate will end after a set amount of time. In that time, you can see how many orbs you've pinged by a little gauge down the bottom in the center of the screen. It will show you how powered up her final attack will be. As for Liv's three orbs, the blue one will freeze the enemy in time, which will look something like this. Liv's red orb will suck enemies in and deal massive damage. And the yellow one acts like a bit of a dodge. Whatever direction you are facing, Liv will dash in that direction. Liv's blue orb will instantly take her to the third hit of her combo. So her normal combo will look like this. And if you use the blue orb first, it will look like this. If you use Liv's yellow orb, it will take you straight to the last hit of her combo. Just like that. Now if you want to play Liv the most efficiently and completely use her kit the way it's meant to be played, it should look something like this. Make sure when you use Liv's ultimate you do not forget to use her core passive as well. It can be very easy to forget as it's not something you would usually do for most other characters. I hope this live guide was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.